Hi everyone, welcome back to the Mate Night Podcast, where we are ranking every film ever made. Hello Dave. This week is Gladiator, a 2000 Swords and Sandals revenge epic. As always, we will rate it out of 10, just based on how much we enjoyed this film. We'll chat for 10 minutes, and then we'll each present a change that we've brought, and finish up with ranking the film out of 10 in 7 further categories, trying to be as objective as possible. We're going to take the average, and that should tell us whether this film was good or not. Mm-hmm. Who goes first? I'll go. Okay, you go. Okay, right. I'm going to count you in. Yeah. Ready? Anything to add before we go? No, nope, I'm ready. Okay. On the count of three, the main I score of the Swords and Sandal epic, uh, directed by Ridley Scott, a revenge plot. Three, two, one. 8.0. 9.5. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> That's the end of the episode. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, shit. What a film. 9.5. Wow. Oh, mate. Wow. I know you do You do really like this one. Jeez. So I didn't realize like, how much I loved it as well. Top, that's my top. Yeah, that's my number wow. one. Yeah. And you know what? I stand by it. The talk more I thought about it. I've been thinking about this all week. And you know what? I was like, every time I went back to, is it better than The Godfather? <laughs> is it better? Do Sorry. Do I like it more yeah. than The Godfather? Do I like it more than The Thing? Do oh, I like yeah. it? Mate, I fucking love this film so much. Yeah. Okay. Why? It is. I don't even know. I was trying mm. to figure out. I mean, I think, you know, I, I was thinking about there's something so unbelievably satisfying about a revenge plot that is successful, mm. you know, or a redemption thing. You know, I mentioned this about Shawshank Redemption recently, where like that kind of sense of just something being just and happening is mm. so important. Um, the Just the whole growth, the whole like you take this character which has earn his position you take everything away from him and all he's got left is his philosophies his character and just see that character just carry him through from from one act to the next just one setting to the next and just like within two battles he's already another general he's just a general of a different army yeah, but like yeah. everyone just knows how fucking awesome this guy exploration is exploration of a great man he's a yes that's it it's an exploration of the coolest motherfucker ever mm. oh my god it's so good i loved it so much fair play all right you know when he's like are you not entertained are you not entertained i was like yes i am yeah there are some moments in it oh. that i've seen my name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. Yes! Yes! yes. I, get, a murdered son. I get goosebumps. I'm to a murdered wife. Oh, and mate. I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. Yeah, brilliant. It's Oli, not Oli perfect. Reed. Ollie Reed. Yeah. I didn't say I knew him. I said he touched me on the shoulder once. Yes. <laughs> I. You know what, as well? I. This is part of the thing that I uh, really appreciate about it was, I've not watched this film in a long time. Mm. I watched this maybe twice when I was younger. And there was... and. There, I, I would, I liked it growing up. I was like, yeah, that was a good film. But I watched it this time, and I was like, I knew that there was this guy Ollie Reed, who everyone was like, he's an important person. He died from serious alcohol issues during this. I thought I'd heard about that, um, but it meant nothing to me as a kid. And then I saw this, and I was like, I, he is cool. Like, I like him. He's really cool. And then Joaquin Phoenix. Like mm. that creepy motherfucker, like oh. See, that was I never rated Joaquin Phoenix in this. Really, movie. that was the one I was. So I gave it an eight point oh. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed it more this time than the first time I watched it. Okay, and we spoke about it, and you said we should do Gladiator, and I was like, yeah, I never really, never really cared for Gladiator, right? And I was pleasantly surprised. And you, <laughs> like your your pump up speech then has made me want to go home and rewatch it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. it is fucking good, it's isn't it? So it's amazing. Good. I was like, it is eight is great. It's a great oh, film. Um, but yeah, what didn't I enjoy? He's the it? original Joffrey. This is what I was thinking when I was watching it. I was like, I hate you. Yeah, I, his accent annoyed me. He doesn't do a very good English Oh, I don't accent. know his accent. So yeah, that, and yeah. I mean, he was mopey and whiny and weasley and weak. Mm. But... I just found it kind of bizarre how weak he was, but also in other areas, he was supposedly ambitious and driven. Maybe it was just not in front of his father that he was really mopey, but then he kills him. So it wasn't just that 
I, I'd say it's mainly his performance that I find annoying. Really? And I like Joaquin Phoenix. I think yeah. Joaquin Phoenix is really good. Just um, a little bit too... Just didn't do it for me in that. Yeah. And a lot of it... Annoyingly, a lot of it is the English accent. I think it might have just been better if he'd done American, but... Okay. Also, he's just so weaselly and whiny, but... It, it, that's it, what I liked, though. It's like, you really just hate this. Yeah, Absolutely. That's a fair piece. point. Like, and fair and he point. gets what's coming to him, and, and like... You know, oh, I'm all for, you know, oh, I like it morally gray and all that. But every now and then, I like mm. a bad guy to get what's coming to him, you know. And this just makes me hate his guts. Yeah, I think, yeah, fair enough. Okay, what one thing that I also, I, I never really liked the ending. Okay, walk me through what, like, explain to our audience the ending. Just the so, bit that you're talking about. So he's obviously, this this gladiator has gone through the whole film and been just smoking everyone he's, yep. he's the spaniard don't touch him he's been absolutely running rings around everyone. reputation joaquin phoenix we've discovered is a weakling weak as piss but for some reason they throw in that scene of him doing his his practice just to make sure you understand he's not he's not that weak he's, he's not he's, that like he can do combat yeah he's just fearful i guess he's just he's no they say he's scared scared he's too scared of everything that's what it is but he's not incompetent he's just but then he you know, nice him and then decides, okay, I'm going to actually fight you here. And then the other, his, his guard turn against him. And I, I, I know that they gave the reasons. Yeah. So I can, I, I don't think this is bad storytelling or anything like that. Okay. Like they, yeah, yeah. They, they, it wasn't out of left field. Yeah. I just was like, does it really need to come to a head where they're fighting against each other and he's wounded him but he's still over you know overturns him and you know what i'm gonna say this it's still good it's not bad it's just for a film that epic yeah with so many epic moments yeah yes it's pretty cool when he turns a knife on him but then the way he dies and he's actually like even has time to stand up and have a moment and say this is what marcus aurelius wanted heed my last words and then he dies and then Derek Jacobi comes in and said we all need to lift him up I've always just thought okay the ending yeah, doesn't really do okay. it yeah okay yeah I get what you mean actually there were elements I think part this kind of highlights part of the thing that I really did like about it was that that kind of got got through the gaps a little bit mm. but to me for a 24 year old film it didn't like there were there weren't that many moments that felt like that age. Fair enough. Yeah, I agree. I do. I, I was trying to pick things that I disliked based on how you know you really really liked this one. And oh I, yeah. I've given it an eight, but I gotta say we spoke. We had Casino last last uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah last that we just recorded it last and week. We both about said, an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, we both like I'm never watching that film again. Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> I yeah. literally have come out of this not expecting for you to hype me so much back into it. <laughs> uh, Rachel couldn't watch it with me, and uh, and sh basically, um, oh I haven't told you this. So we've got we start putting Amazon Prime on to go to bed, and okay. Gladiator was on Amazon Prime for a while. And I had it in my head like, that's just a perfect film to go to bed to. It's like an epic, uh, I'll enjoy listening to that sort of vibe, action, but also yeah, intriguing yeah. plot. A bit of escapism to go to drift off into sleep to. And she's like, no, no chance. I'm not, I'll put it on. And she's like, what have you put on? And I'm like, Gladiator. And she's like, turns it off. Turns it off. <laughs> she's never watched it. But she just doesn't like the idea of that sort of film going yeah. to bed to. Yeah, so I can understand that. With us deciding to do this... I was like, well, we can watch it. I'll show you it. See what you think. And she had too much work on, so she didn't manage to sure. watch it. But now I am 100% yes, going man. to just go over and say, let's yes. watch this. Yeah, it's good, man. Same thing for me and Faye. She's not watched it with me. Yeah. And I'm like, we are watching this. Like, mm. we have to. What did Faye think? No, she hasn't yet. That's my point. Oh, is, right. Yeah. yeah, but like... A part of the reason I want her to watch it is so that I can watch it again. Like, <laughs> I, just, I don't care if she falls asleep. I'm just going to yeah. watch it again. It is a film it's, of unbelievable moments. That well. character, you are right. And and I, I spent so long preparing for my what if that I didn't get a lot of time to think about my, why I love this film so much. But you are right. I think that it is the character. It is that main character for me is just, it resonates with me so much. Mm -hmm. Like he is so cool. Just the whole way through. 
his actions, the way the you way you love a cool protagonist that yes. really gets you. Yes, <laughs> that always gets. Yeah, because like the thing, like yeah. you know what I mean. Like Kurt, Kurt Russell, Russell. Like, is Kurt Russell could have killed it in this? Yeah, he, yeah, he probably would have done. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, I I mean, it needed Ridley Scott behind it. I did think of another thing that really made me appreciate it was like. It actually, it's the only thing I've ever watched, and I haven't watched a lot of things like this, but where um, even though it's 24 years old, I actually felt like I got to kind of see a little bit like what Rome streets might have felt mm. like. You know, that a lot of the kind of the, the skyline looked kind of shit. But when it was on the streets and they were, sh- and they had like hundreds of extras walking around outside the Colosseum, something mm. about it felt very, very real to me. And I just thought it was such a cool, it really felt like I was kind of getting to see a little bit of like what Rome could have felt like when I've been to the Colosseum, right? Mm. I've, and it's got people with selfie sticks and flags and caps and, yeah, okay. and, and so, you know, it, it doesn't feel like it was part of any it don't you it kind of breaks that immersion and then you watch Ridley Scott's interpretation 25 years ago and you're mm. like this feels amazingly real to me mm. considering how old this was so yeah you know what? it's it's a great film I mean maybe it will come up in my estimations to, to be honest but uh I did really I enjoyed it I enjoyed it more than I thought it's great it is great it's a great score yeah it is great Oliver Reed amazing do you, um, do you like Oliver Reed? You you keep saying his name with a grin. <laughs> Oliver Reed. Oh, just look into Oliver Reed. There are some amazing stories. One of the 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 Hellraisers of the well, he was actually kind of almost a second generation Hellraiser, and funnily enough, one of the first proper like Irish and Brits conquering Hollywood, drinking stories abound. Right. One of the others was Richard Harris, who is in Gladiator uh, as Marcus Aurelius. <laughs> So him, Peter O'Toole, who's in um, Lawrence of Arabia, they were like, Peter O'Toole and uh, Richard Harris were very close friends. Yeah. And they've got amazing drinking stories. Like, I recommend anyone watching this. I hope it's still up, but there's about a 25 minute video of Richard Harris and Peter O'Toole going on different late night shows in the US saying drinking stories quite often about each other. <laughs> yeah. yeah <laughs> and they're, yeah. they're quality. Some of the best stories, they're, they're great raconteurs. Yeah. Amazing stories. Oliver Reed was almost like a young young gun who came on the scene and rivaled them for that position um, right. as as one of the the kind of younger hellraisers and he also has a story or two and there are some amazing interviews of him they used to just roll him out and get him hammered because it was just so funny. On television. Yeah, okay. And there's some incredible interviews which I'd uh, I'll show you. <laughs> so, some of them I can't even repeat. But uh, interesting stories. I'm pretty sure he had a tattoo on his penis. They used to show people as well. Right. Uh, and then in this, my understanding is he. This was kind of a a return to form. This is going to be a big big budget film. You've got a great part. Stay sober for it. And he did to almost all the way through the shoot and near the end of filming he was like he had like the mother of all blowouts and uh and that was what knocked the nail in the coffin and i, I would have to recheck but yeah my understanding is like uh yeah it, ended it was up, a specific night where he drank there, there too has, much yeah there have been i know there are instances on other sets where he got almost all the way through and then ended up like having a four thousand dollar bar tab on one night near the end just to like celebrate and it hadn't finished you'd have a week left and similarly yeah so he died just before this and and some there's actually some cgi in the film like early use of putting his face onto to different uh yeah near the end you can you can kind of tell but yeah quality quality individual yeah and and he was Proud gladiator. he did a great job of his performance in that like rising and rising yes yeah, awesome. yeah like you bought it man uh lucilla was pretty cool marcus aurelius was quite cool like there was, love richard harris yeah, yeah the support the supporting characters were cool. were interesting characters like knocking mm. about um i like the senate i would have liked to have seen a little more of the senate but we got gladiator 2 coming out so, so yeah. maybe we will get to see a bit more of the Senate. I had a quick comment on something in the film. You know, when Marcus asks Maximus, like, oh, tell me about your home. Mm. It's a simple place. Mm. And then it cuts to his house later. And it's like a 15 bed <laughs> fucking 
chateau <laughs> in Spain with like acres and acres of like oh, it smells of herbs. <laughs> it smells of herbs in the day and rosemary in the night. S- sweat of the slaves. And the, <laughs> the fifteen butlers. <laughs> the men work in the fields. <laughs> I hadn't uh, noticed it before, but I, when he said it, the first he was like, "Oh, it's a simple place," and I was just thinking. There's no way it's a simple place yeah. after after the number of different things that you've just told me grow in your garden. Yeah. yeah. It's like we have olives on the north yeah, hill. Olives, olives on the north. The <laughs> north side of my hill. Very, very simple. <laughs> it's, it's a simple hill. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's, a simple it's a simple hot tub. I've got, I've got a simple, simple hot wife. <laughs> she's 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 simple. Your, she's like your daughter, who I also <laughs> who I was also been with. I'm here with everyone. Should we go into our critical score? Yeah, we've got. Uh, we're running low on time. Yeah, we better just blast through these eight. Right. So, what did you give it, Freddie? You give it an eight point oh. Eight point oh. And then what did I give it? Nine point five. Oh, that's the biggest Woo! I've ever done. I'm yeah. so happy with that one as well. Only has, that's it. the second of all time, I think, because I only beat it with uh, uh, beat it with Princess Bride. Princess Bride, yeah. Fuck. What did you give that? 9.7? 9.8. Okay, cool. So, plot. Um, so, outside of the big gripe and the ending, those yeah, are my two it's, issues. It's kind of book-ended that. with some kind of slight... How would you describe it? They're just... They're just not, sour they note could on have the been end. Thought, they could have been thought through a little yeah. better. But the 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 ninety five percent, the ninety percent of this plot is really, really just fucking awesome. Mm. It's just bookended by kind of. I w- I'm not even sure I go as far as saying blunders. They're just kind of inaccuracies. They're just kind of like like most people watching it probably aren't there going. Hang on a minute. Well, if Marcus was a good dad, mm, yeah, <laughs> most it's people true. don't give a fuck. You don't really mind that. For me, the uh, I didn't mind that until i had to think of something to change yeah that's it. i Same never here. really liked the ending that much but right yeah, whatever um, so what do you reckon for plot well it's either an eight or nine in my opinion i'm gonna go eight because yeah. the the marcus aurelius thing is quite major it is quite important especially because purely of the on plot like just the story yeah. itself yeah we're not talking about all the other stuff that it's going to do well and i think eight so character mm. 10 yeah yeah i like the cat i think the characters are 10 i well i mean obviously maximus is a 10 Mm -hmm. and then i think that in the same way that joffrey is a high number so like you hate him i don't like yeah i I reckon comedy is a great character i wasn't the biggest fan of the performance yeah i think and lucilla's good yeah. Marcus Aurelius is good. He, his decisions are silly, but like it's good character. It's, a good know, character. it's pretty cool. It's old Marcus, man character. It's Marcus Aurelius. Marcus Aurelius. Though. Like right. they actually have chosen someone famous, someone I've heard of. Yeah. Uh, even like the other gladiators in the pits are like Oliver Reed's brilliant. Yeah. You're right. I didn't even this. We've been speaking for probably over an hour now, and I haven't once even got to the other gladiators. Yeah. Like four who are all fucking Sick. awesome. Yeah. Ten. All right. Cool. Dialogue is good. <laughs> Very is it? good, yes. yeah. isn't it? I, I'm never really clear on this one. I know, but you know how we like moments of really yeah. cool dialogue. Yeah, the Are You Not Entertained? Father to Opposite a Murdered Son. Yes. Husband to a Murdered Wife. I actually go, I I get fun. goosebumps just thinking about yeah. that moment. Goosebumps, it just bump, uh, bumps out. It's just fun. I mean, there are a few scenes like when he's speaking to that um, other, the Numidian slave, and he's Numidian. discussing... He's discussing like his family and uh, it's the guy. Oh, actually, yeah. this might have been a deleted scene as well. I don't know. But he speaks to the new Midian slave who's talks to him about how um, are, are your mother and are your fa- wife. Uh, wife and son alive? And then he's like, no. And then you're like, are you, you're going to see him again, but not yet. Yeah. That guy, like some, I, that sounded cooler than it was in my head. <laughs> yeah. It's, I, I thought some of those, di- some of those scenes are a bit whatever, but love the Oliver Reed scene. Yeah. Like, that monologues. Um, yeah. I would say it's a eight or nine. Eight or nine. Oh. I'll go nine for the moments for me. Let's go. Good man. Right. Performance. Uh, so we know say, Joaquin what would you give just Joaquin Joaquin's performance out of 10 alone um, like a, a a 7 okay 
It's, it's middle it's, of the road. It's good. It's, it's, it's a, a, a little issues. things I don't really like, and okay. so I'll give it give it to him. And then let's just rattle off the other characters without going through their performance yet. We've got obviously we've got uh, Russell Crowe. Yeah, we've Lexus, got Oliver Marcus, Reed, Aurelius, Oliver, whatever his name is, Oliver, uh, Oliver Prim, Reed. Prim. Yeah, Proximo. Proximo. Uh, Lucilla, Derek Jacobi's character, who's one of the senators. Yep. Falco. Yep. So that's enough to give us an idea of performance. So, what do we reckon for those guys? Pretty good. Probably another nine for me. Or maybe what would an you eight. Maybe Crow. an eight, actually. I, I think, think Russell like Crowe's really more... good. Yeah. Yeah. Russell Crowe's great. And then the other, let's say eight. Russell Crowe's comfortably a nine. Yeah. But you could, mm. to be honest, you know how I say my performance is how high they are based on how many other actors could you see doing that? Okay. I think it's an amazing role. Russell Crowe does amazingly well, but there yeah, are other people. It's a character. Oh, you said, uh, so eight. We're going with eight. I'm happy with eight. I'll take that. Uh, visuals. Pretty, pretty spectacular. It's hard for me to. I haven't watched 20 films from the year 2000, so I don't know for certain how it holds up in time. But mm. it seemed like we've done, obviously, a few films around it, mm. and it looked pretty fucking amazing. Yeah, there's a few CGI bits, like the Oliver Reed, de when they yeah. actually CGI'd his face on something, you could tell. And you said the, the sky skyline. Sometimes. When they were doing the sea, the setting, the when it was like Rome, when there, there was some... Like some shots of like sunset over Rome, and it was quite clearly just like a cardboard set thing or whatever. Mm. Like it wasn't very well done. But if you remove the blunders, the bulk of it, what do we think? Like if you just great. said without the mistakes, yeah, it's, it's great. And then are those blunders bad enough to knock it's it down from an eight to a seven? No, I don't think so. I okay, think it's, it's cool. great. And also, like visuals, a lot of the direction comes into that. So yeah the cinematography yeah. and the shot selection yeah scope of the fight scenes i mean I, I i don't know if this is deleted or not but the fight scenes against the germanic tribe i wasn't i thought wasn't as good but all of the gladiator yeah. fight scenes were incredible amazing yeah yeah um sound did you notice how much it sounded like a different film what do you mean right Mate, 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 right. Talk to me about sound for a minute. I am listening. Um, got a score that is recognisable. I wouldn't say it's one of the absolute... I agree. Great greats, but still, it's left a mark. For me, anything that leaves a mark to an extent should be above a seven. So if I had to guess, I'd say, if I had to choose, I'd say an eight. I think that is pretty much bang on where my head was at cool. yeah the, right okay hang on here's the so this is a song from gladiator tell me what it sounds like to you oh yeah parts the guy in it gets worse when did oh they came out right around the same time but this was before this is three years earlier ooh tough sound yeah yeah I, I recognize this I was watching it, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, are they playing Pirates of the Caribbean three years before it came out? That's mad, actually. How the hell have they pulled that off? Pirates of the off? Caribbean is 100% a 10 for score. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. This is... And you don't, like... You're like, this is copying Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> 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 I don't care. Should have done it more famously, shouldn't you? So we, we landed on eight. Eight. Okay, impact. I did also, I will say one yeah, reason yeah. for eight. Yeah? I don't think that fits... The gladiator. I'm not saying it's no, bad. I think that's, uh, yeah, it doesn't it could fit just it be as we've well it on Pirates as it fits so the pirates. I theme. know, but it could just be. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I'm happy with it. I'm happy with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it eight, but I'm saying that's why it's not a ten. Okay. Uh, impact. Box office impact. Gladiator was a commercial success, grossing over 460 million dollars in 2000, mm. reinvigorating interest in historical epic genre, which led to films like Troy and Alexander. Awards and critical acclaim, the film won five Academy Awards, including Best Picture and Best Actor for Russell Crowe, cementing its status as a critical darling and influenced future epic films. I'm only going to read three. Cultural resurgence of Roman themes. Its success sparked and renewed interest in Roman history and culture, noticeable in television series like Roman Spartacus and in gaming. Uh, innovative use of CGI <laughs> on Oliver Reed's face. <laughs> yeah. 
It doesn't look as innovative now, but for the time, obviously. I didn't realise how many... I didn't realise it won Best Picture and Best Lead Lead Eyes. That's, that's wild. That's... It's a 10, isn't it? It's got to be, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bang, bang it in. It's going to be good. That's right. very high, that. Quick, look away. Look away. I was, I'm going to read it out to you. Right. Where are we? There. Okay. Cool. So, <clears throat> Gladiator has now been rated out of 10 in nine different categories. We have rated it the following. 8.0 out of 10 for Fred. 9.5 out of 10 for Jambo. That is enjoyment. Then we have gone for plot, 8. Character, 10. Dialogue, 9. Performance, 8. Visuals, 8. Sound, 8. Impact, 10. Giving it an average score of 8.72 out of 10. Making it the fifth greatest film of all time until further notice. Putting it... Oh, this has happened again. Just behind June Part 2. And just ahead... Of Team America, two, well poised. Two belters. <laughs> two, two belters. <laughs> Belting fields. Uh, <clears throat> some other films that we've put it ahead. <clears throat> uh, it's ahead of Silence of the Lambs, just a couple of places. Ahead of Apocalypse Now. Ahead of Psycho. Uh, it's behind Godfather. It's behind Jaws. It's behind 12 Angry Men. And it's behind Dune Part 2. And that's it. They're the only films ahead of it. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. It's placed it's pretty, pretty good, nicely, I think. Pretty good. Yeah. I would probably, personally, I think that my, I mean, my gut reaction is about an eight. I'd say a couple of notches below. But then again, Team America. Yeah, I'm not too upset at being above Team America. But Yeah, absolutely. Maybe, maybe below, above like, Team America. Oh, yeah. I don't know. There's some great films. How, how low would I even put it? It's it, You know what? There's so many good films out there. I like when we get a rating and they're like, holy shit, 8.72. Mm. Pretty high. Will every will anything catch The Godfather? Yeah. When we do Lord of the Rings. Ooh, yeah. That will. That would be so high. Because I'm going to, I like, and I don't, want, got reactions I don't want to give skits. spoilers or anything. I'm going to give a but massive score for Lord <laughs> of the Rings. Mine beat Gladiator for me and got a reaction. <laughs> uh, what other one was I thinking would do well? Shawshank. Yeah, yeah. Shawshank would do amazingly well. God. Right, okay. Well, listen, thank you so much for listening this far. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, tune in next week. We got uh, Trap coming out soon. The old Blade Runner is also coming out very, very soon. Check us out on YouTube. Check us out on Spotify. Check us out on Apple Podcasts. Thank you so much for listening. Cheers, thank Dave. you very much. Cheers, Dave.